Hello, boys and girls. I did already show you how well I did in King's Quest 1 in the AGI version. Of course, there's also the SCI version. As you can see, it is still uh, in EGA. So, excuse me, 16 colors. Uh, and of course, it's a bit higher resolution than the original. Uh, a bit more possibilities in the music. And they did also make a few slight changes. For starters, in the original game, you actually had to walk to the king yourself, so he would get you uh, the mission. Now they placed that in the introduction, but many early Shara games did not, didn't, didn't have any introductions. Think of it one, you just started at the field beside the castle, uh, Lisa Suclary one, also no introduction, you just started uh, in front of Lefty's bar, police quest, you just started at the station, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, well, let's show the introduction. The style really shows the same as many other uh, Shara games. You can see that. Like Police Quest 1, King's Quest 4, etc. etc. Uh, of course, now there are guards at the castle, greeting Sir Cam. The king is expecting you. Well. I'm at your service, my king. I'm an old man, Sir Graham. Perhaps too old to carry the weight of this crown. My bones ache, my hands tremble. I'm afraid my time on earth grows short. But enough about me. Great misfortunes have befallen Daventry since the lost years of go of three magical treasures. I've chosen you, the finest knight in all Daventry, to search these lost treasures. Only then can this kingdom be restored of its, to its former glory. Only then may I rest with the knowledge that my people are safe. The first treasure is a magic mirror that foretells the future. The second is a magical shield that protects the bearer from all mortal harm. The third and last is an enchanted chest that is forever filled with gold. I know what uh, I ask is difficult, nay, perhaps impossible. The dangers are many. But you are brave and pure of heart, that's why I chose you to volunteer. If you succeed, you will inherit my crown and rule the realm of Daventry as your rightful king. Go, Sir Graham, and know that the fate of Daventry lies in your hands. Take heart, my king, I shall not fail you. And basically, that is all there is to it as far as the introduction goes. Well, you can already see the first kind of change. The alligators have been uh, replaced by worm-like creatures. <laughs> and of course there are now guards at the castle gate.
These town faced guards must have been trained not to uh, converse with anybody. They ignore you, Sir Crane. A nice reflection in the water, though. Now, if you stand on this side and you type push rock, apparently you somehow will then pull it and the rock will then go over you and kill you. Yeah, it's... Um well, so far the easy part is I already found out the hard way that this is... Um Quite a hard job, perhaps I had a bit of practice. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least. Two attempts to reach the egg, not bad. Last time I uh, did a lot worse. If I can only get down the tree in one go. Yay! <laughs> this is not yet the worst of it. Trust me on that one. Yeah, nice looking goat. Of course, he can help me. As you can see, it is still with commands. Uh, this is actually the only remake from Shara itself. In uh, which I actually remember uh, them doing it with commands. Okay. It's a well-known fact that the goats hate trolls intensely. You move aside and let the goat take care of the direction as the troll. That was also pretty stupid. But I didn't.
Safe for a while. Yes. And of course, when you start messing up, you really do it all the way. But I'm. It is really my coat of honor not to do this by falling. But by doing it right. Start messing things up. Then you go it all the way, Clitz. No fucking way. Again. Now that should do it. Hello, goatee, goatee. And let's save this time, and I really don't want that. Well, let's save. We'll never see that troll again, but we'll also never see that goat again. And... I hope I got the English spelling right. Uh, the name of the gnome was uh, a very idiotic puzzle in uh, the uh, original King's Quest. You then made it simpler. Mm, let's see, that's run. Rumpo stills can spell backwards. Hmm. Let's see. I'm just gonna going to check the fandom page. To make sure That I got it right. Yeah, I have to switch between two windows now. It is just Rumpelstiltskin. Um, spell it backwards, but something tells me that I didn't get it right. 
unfortunately, I cannot copy and paste. I just have to... Nick, S-T-L-I. Yeah. Yeah, and here in... <laughs> Didn't <laughs> take that for a name. It was really not uh, the uh, Aya Van Gogh. Okay. Well, if everything hired to the gnome's house, of course they made them a bit different. This time the spinning wheel with the straws and the gold, of which the story of Rumpelstiltskin was uh, famous. course, now to find the place where I can plant these beans. Now, of course, this is all nice and cool, but I'm not yet ready to climb this thing, but at least this beanstalk will stay here for a while, since, as you know, I need an invisibility ring. I can only hope that I will find the elf bringing me that so yeah well as far as I know there's not much harm in this only uh, irritating but of course in order to be sure now of course I know that this is the place to plant my beans hmm. is this the place where the wolf is no but the ogre I believe this should be the whereabouts of where I can find that elf. Hmm. Well, I guess at least some points. Can't do that. Hmm. 
Of course, there's the shrink. <coughs> the shrinking mushroom. For when I go for the magic shield. Well, let's not take any chances. I really don't know where I can find that elf. That is where the witch can appear. And if I'm correct, north of the witch's house. This is the most marvelous house you've ever seen. It seems like made of huge gingerbread cupcake with frosting for a room. The chimney is made of gummy bricks, the door and fans are made of candy canes, and the sour ball stones and gumdrops are scattered around the yard. A clear reference to Hansel und Gretel. As always, it can be searching a bit. Oh, uh, where to go? Well, at least you don't have to type the swim command anymore, like you had in the original game. As Okay. Now that the fairy godmother gave me her spell, I guess I can best go to the witch's house first then. Yeah, I thought I saw the goat there, but... <laughs> From the well to the north. <coughs> Be thankful that you have a protective spell or the witch may have stuck around you, stuck around to try and catch you. Now yeah, you can kill the witch by cooking her uh Cooking her alive in that boiling pot. The original on all game it was uh, pushing her into the open. Yeah, we hint sometimes it's wise to think backwards. After all, I need that cheese to get the magic shield. Mm. Hey, 
right, that is. Of course, I need to find out where the four-leaved clover grows. I believe it was somewhere close to the castle, but to be frank, I don't remember. It's um, That's the hmm. I guess I'm just an idiot. And of course still no sign of the elves. Get me here. Of course, some characters do appear a bit randomly. Both the good and the bad. That's the walnuts area that is the wolf area if i'm correct hmm. now of course i can also start to try with the magic mirror Yeah, that is also... I already have the knife. That's... Uh Of course, the next location is where we can find the dragon. Mm. Now, I believe this stalagmite is a bit of the point where it will try to kill me. Good shot, the water hits the dragon square in the face, dousing the dragon's fire. And that makes the first treasure. This cave has also been completely redesigned. Yeah, the bird can come here, but it's no good if that happens now. Yes, and this is where I wanted to be. This is where the clover can be found. So I got the cheese and I got the clover. The question is of course if I will find birdie 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 here. This tool is random. But if it appears it's here.
Well, I guess it's not in the mood to show up. The witch's house, well... The woodcutter speaks to you, his voice broken with sorrow. We would welcome you uh, to our home, Sir Knight. But we have had no food for so long, my beautiful wife cannot even rise from her bed. I fear she may die soon. The, wood the woodcutter gratefully accepts the whole note, but it is, it is too weak to open it. The woodcutter accepts your meager gift of food. Thank you, Sir Knight. This will help for a while. Well, let's see. It's strange. You won't get an answer. <laughs> Betty, 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 Betty. Yeah. I clips border wild the border a wild raging river. Yeah. This is of course the another bridge where the troll can appear. One of the three bridges and all three guard by a troll. Unless you use the goat to get rid of them.
that's what I always hated about the first King's Quest game, the random appearances of certain characters that I may need. I do have a map of uh, King's Quest. Of course, I need to see where I had that window open. This map has actually marked spots on north of the carrot field. That is where the elf may appear. I guess that's going north here then. This is the carrot field. This should be the place. It is of course. If you would be so kind to make an appearance. Not today I guess. Oh, that's the end. Oh, now it is. The elf is impressed by your friendliness and, and response by handling you an elegant little ring. I've had my eye on ye, Sir Graham. Methinks you might enjoy this little trinket. Just a wee bit of time. It has the power to make ye invisible. It gives ye as much entertainment as ye has given me to, uh, this day. And with that, the elf vanishes. Now, of course, I need to find back the place where I can plant the beans. is taking up so much space in this game do make it a bit easier on me yes this was the place to plant them I really don't know the English name of the story this was based upon. The Dutch name is Jaak en de Monestaak. Should that mean that the English name is Jake and the Beanstalk? Well, I really don't know. Now 
Now, I really hope that this is not as terrible as it is. Um, the original game. But it actually looks like it is. Yes, definitely. Just seem a bit more logical at this time. The place where uh, my uh, image is imprinted looks less. Oh. Uh, save the game, and I have now slowed down things a bit. I'm afraid that I will need it. Of course, save frequently when you know you may die frequently. Yeah, that was a more um, logical spot to uh, fall to my death. And still three screens this time. We'll find out hopefully soon enough. That was not the way to go. It's always a bit guessing work with uh, these kind of things. guessing work. Let's see, temp. Yeah, only a few pixels, but that's progress. Really? You're gonna hate this as much as I do. It's passion, actually. Although the way does seem a bit more logical, I say it again, and in the original game, it's still... Am I already there or are they just playing games with me? I think the letter. Can be serious. The higher you get, the more you have to watch from yourself falling down. And it is just one pixel that makes the difference. That is really the most terrible thing of the time. test run before I uh, recorded this version just to make sure about the differences between this game and the original 
then I just uh, propose claim. Guessed the gnome's name wrong. Mm -hmm. That would make things easier in the original game. This game is not really going that way. But you will see soon enough. Okay, and from here things go automatically, I see. Okay, one more screen to the east, I think. The giant cannot see you, since you are invisible. Well, I guess the giant looks a bit better than in the original, but I guess what doesn't. And of course, it's just waiting until it goes to sleep. The giant is getting tired of uh, looking for you. Seems like he may be ready to take a nap. Great job, the huge giant took it out from stomping around and is falling asleep. There are now two ways out, the beanstalk and the cave. But if the cave is really that much easier... I mean... These catwalks look downright terrible. And I also must apologize to the creators of the fan version of um, King's Quest 3. Because I was not really understanding of them uh, replacing the original stairway with these catwalks until uh, this game came into my hands. And I immediately saw that I just made a VGA version of these catwalks, even the same route. Like exactly the same route, even. And of course, you see this version of... Uh, ah! I must stay focused. <laughs> this was just stupidity. But uh, yeah, it was exactly the same route as in uh, as I see in here. They basically just copied it and changed the colors to make it look more VGA style. I really wonder why Shara came up with these catwalks. As a stairway actually made sense. Catwalks. Well, I guess there is a bit of a uh, way up and down in them, but it, not as much as in the original stairway. Well, so far the easy part. Well, I noticed that when I uh, tried this on with um, making this way up, 
that I could get myself robbed. I just lost my golden egg that way. But I didn't need it anyway. The golden egg can also be used in order to uh, get rid of uh, the troll guarding the bridge. He just accepted the stall. Perhaps I can try to be nice and And give that golden egg to the lumberjack. I mean, it's all poverty that he is suffering from, huh? And I can't give away my treasure chest, as that is one of the king's wanted items. think that I am against the monarchy. <laughs> well, it's just a game. What I'm about to try now is something that I never tried before. The Murtad. Yeah, okay, I didn't need that ring anymore anyway. Now the bird may come back. Refuses this time. Okay. Now I really wonder where was that lumberjack's house? And there it is. The wood for uh, Carter gratefully accepts the treasure. Thank you, Sir Knight, but I fear only a gift of food will save my poor bar wife from starvation. It's gonna help for a while. Okay, well. And then once again trying to grab that bird. No idea why it appeared now. And of course now I can no longer find that fucking cave anymore. I 
it was just one screen to the north here. No. Hmm. Oh no, to the west here. No, that's not it. That's the way to the beanstalk. The back side of the lumberjack's house. Now that will be the exit of Why is it that I always must have a map around that I simply won't get where I want to be? Let's see, this is the lumberjack's house. That is a pretty safe spot. I see the place where I want to be is one west, and then all the way north or south. Doesn't really matter. Oh, south is the easier way. Yes, this is. Is where it is now, and that's hope. Yeah. Let's hope the bird will get me now. Pretty, 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 pretty. Tweet, tweet. Yeah, there it is. Well, that was quick. Yeah? Are you coming? Of course, I saved with the bird around. As long as the music sounds, the bird is still there. At least it should be. Please, I tell something else, Sir Graham. <laughs> Basically, I just have to jump when the bird is close. And then it will grab me. At least, that is what should happen. But what should happen and what does happen are two different things. And it's gone. Don't you just hate it when such things happen? Oh, there it is again, but that was too high. If 
far as I know, the only way to get there is through that bird. But when it simply doesn't want to come, then it's... flight appears effortless. At times it dives so low you can practically touch it. Before I... And all I can do is jump into the hole. Yeah, this is to be a painful trip. Fear and respect you. Rather than to risk offending you, they decide to leave you entirely alone. Now, in the original game, they kept walking around, but they simply ignored you. These leprechauns simply uh, decide to disappear. And they 
are also more looking like the typical Irish kind of leprechaun in this version. Where they just more look like the Germanic kind of uh, imps. There's not really a good English word for it. The Dutch word would be kabouter. In any case, I now have all three treasures. The treasure chest. You gaze into the magic mirror, you see the reflection of yourself as king of this land. And of course, the shield. Tavern lost treasures. Don't waste any time. Bring the treasure straight to King Edward before it's too late. Of course, now it is uh, the middle of where the castle is. I should have known better. I know. I knew this was uh, treacherous. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, okay, we already know that, so no need to. Cards have disappeared. How odd. It's odd. Why enter any uh, why aren't the cards at Epos? Well, I guess this is a bit of uh, an improvement from the original game. That was just you and the king at the end of the game. But of course, uh, uh give me a fan to come out of the king's chamber. Nothing to be done. Our king's me melancholy is too much for his heart to bear. Perhaps if Sir Graham had returned with the three lost treasures of Draventry. It's, it's Sir Graham! He has returned! Did he find the treasures? Superbly, my knight, as I promised, the kingdom is yours. I know you will serve her well. The king is dead! Long live the king! Great, 
first of the lost treasures of Devonry. Despite the laws of their beloved King Edward, the people of De Devonry grew happy and prosperous and flourished for the years to come. He loved so much. The end. Well, and the game will now just be stuck in uh, showing uh, the credits, and once the credits come at the end, they will just restart. And that is uh, um, where I am going to take my leave of you. As there is simply nothing more to show you. Goodbye and see you another day, another time, well, whatever. By the way, what is also nice to know, I am a game developer myself. And the real tricky account is uh, my secondary account. On my uh, new box account, which is my actual name. You can now find... Lots of uh, videos in which I demonstrate an RPG that I completely developed myself named Star Story. And I will give developers commentary there. Since of course I created the game myself, I know all about it. Let's end this video.